Hey, greetings everyone, and welcome back to another great episode of my cybersecurity show. And today we are moving on in our Port Swigger Web Security Academy lab walkthrough series. But I hope I hope you're wearing a helmet, because I'm about to blow your mind. Because today it's our first episode with a SQL injection lab. That's right, SQL injections. We've I'm sure you've been waiting for it. And here it is. Finally, we get a SQL injection. Today's lab, SQL injection vulnerability in where clause, allowing retrieval of hidden data. So those those darn SQL injections, they will get you every time, right? So let's see here today, this lab contains a SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. So there's going to be a, a category filter for products, like this type of uh, category and, and that type of category, types. It says when the user selects a category, the application carries out a SQL query like the following. Select star from products where category equals, and it says gifts, and released equals one. Okay, I'm, I'm following you. It says to solve the lab, perform a SQL injection attack that causes the application to display one or more unreleased products. Ew. So that's really interesting thing about SQL injections is when they are uh, found and you can actually do them, you remember your CIA triad? Well, we're about to drop SQL injection bombs on each one of those letters in that an acronym, right? Because C for confidentiality. Well, if there are hidden things like this lab says, right? Let's say that right here that we will access, whoops, too far, uh, more unreleased product. We want to display one or more unreleased products. You see this released equals one? That's telling me that uh, so one, you have one and zero. If it's zero, it's usually false. If it's one, it's usually true. And it's saying that released is true. So these are products that have been released. This query gets built saying, hey, I want category of gifts and I want products that have released of, of one, which meaning they are released. It's true, right? I also want all the things as well as, so just, just give me everything. So we're gonna probably just, we're probably gonna get away with just a, hey, here's a, a, a Boolean statement or Boolean, right? Is it Boolean or Boolean? I can never get that. Anyway, uh, where it's, it's a true or false statement. I'm gonna give you a true false statement. Is it this or this? And, or this and this? And we're seeing this and this, but we want this or this. So it's probably gonna be or, a good old fashioned one equals one, and then it'll go, hey, one does equal one. How? Did you know that? I didn't know that. And it's going to give me access to those hidden things. But with SQL injection, I can also do things like uh, an I, right? Integrity. What if I change stuff? In Because now I have access to the database. And depending on the access I have, I might be able to modify things within the database. Add, remove, or change things. There goes integrity right out the window. And then you've got A, availability. What if I just deleted the entire database or just certain pieces of the database that are crucial for it to work correctly? Availability, wow, out the door, right? So that's why SQL injections can be quite the devastation to a web application. All right, so I have clicked the Access Lab. Bing, we are in the Access Lab area. This is it. And we have this option right here. As you can see, refine your search. And I can click all, I can click accessories, I can click food and drink, I can click lifestyle, I can click tech gifts, right? So I'll click whatever, lifestyle, works for me. And now, up here in the address bar, right? We actually have a magnifier waiting for us today. And that's gonna help us out. So you can see, here's the address bar. And you can see right around this region, we have category equals, Lifestyle. Uh-oh, you wouldn't think this would be an injectable area, would you? Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, I mean, there's multiple ways to find out, but the easiest way is just put a single quote on the end, as we do, as we know, as you, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir. I know you have, by the way, before we get too crazy, don't do any of this for nefarious purposes. Do not try this on websites. You do not have permission or own, right? So if you don't have permission to the website to do this, or you do not own the website, don't do this, okay? 
do it here. This is what this lab is built for you to do. Solve the lab. So let's put that in there and then I will just click uh, the little go sign and let's see what that does. It is, it is going, we can see it's thinking and you'll notice that we just got ourselves an internal server error right there. So that means something went bad, right? It's a good indicator that we might have an injectable spot right here. So let's go, let me pull the magnifier back up. Let's go back up here. Let's figure out our inline comment characters. A lot of times it's like the Octothorpe and we'll hit go. We'll see if that does anything for us. No, we're still getting internal server error. Okay, that's cool. Let's try up here. Let's try dash dash and hit go. And wait for it. Oh, look at that. Things have changed. So that, that looks like it's going to be the correct character I need. It's going to be the dash dash uh, character for the inline comment code, right? And you can see this says lifestyle, blah, blah, blah. Because now it's kind of like it's commenting things off. So it just sees everything else is fine. All right, cool. All we got to do now is go up there and throw that or one equals one into the mix and see what happens. Well, let's get my magnifier up so you can see what's going on. We'll get back in here and I'm just going to go between the single quote and the dash dash. And I'm going to type in or, uh, and you could probably do like plus one equals one like that. Simple. Let's hit go and see if that does anything for us. And waiting for it, finishing up. Oh, look at that. Congratulations, we have solved the lab. And that's cool, but let's see what it actually ended up looking like. And this is just showing us all the things that we should not be seeing. We should be seeing much less than this, I am sure. So it's just now dumping everything from the database to right here for us to enjoy and to see and that was fun, simple, easy, right? Obviously you could go further down the rabbit hole with, you know, reaching into the database, looking at other parts, other tables, columns, enumerating all sorts of things. But ultimately for this lab is fairly straightforward. Just reveal that hidden data and good times were had by all. Well, there you go, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you got a lot of value out of that, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Follow the channel, do all the things, comment if you would, because we always love good comments. I like having good conversations with you good folks out there. It's always interesting. You're, you're, you're full of surprises from time to time. So make sure you comment as well. And that said, uh, until next time, keep hacking.